Welcome back, Legends. I hope you're all amazing. On today's installment of Five Minute Tones, I want to show you a little EQ trick I've been playing around with, which is getting me more satisfying clean tones out of humbucker equipped guitars. Specifically, this guitar, this is my 2008 PRS SC245. I'm running it into the Band Commander at stock settings. I've got my go to cabinet IR and I've got a little bit of the London plate reverb dialed up. I just want to play. This on the neck pickup, so you can hear what it sounds like with this amp at stock settings. And then I'm gonna play you an example on my Strat on the neck and middle pickup, which I just love the sound of. That's probably my favorite Chinese clean sound. So let's just hear them back to back. <laughs> Now there's a long list of the differences between those two guitars. Scale length, tuning, obviously the pickups, the electronics, lots of other things. So the approach that I'm gonna detail is pretty hacky and I would not call this guitar matching. Basically what I'm doing is guitar approximation in here. So basically what I did was I used FabFilter's Pro-Q3 plugin, which has an EQ match function in it. And I just ran a DI in there and I got the strap on the pickup setting that I liked. And I just strummed the open strings for about 30 seconds, played a few chords, played the harmonics and created a very rough EQ profile out of it. I saved that as a reference and then I repeated it with this guitar and then used the EQ match function in there. What's cool about Pro-Q3 is you can basically choose how finely you want to get that approximation with EQ. So I think I chose three or four bands based on that approach. And then I just took those values and I plugged them into this parametric EQ block, which we can see right here. Before I talk about it though, I'll just play you that Strat example, then I'll play my PRS. <laughs> So it is ballpark in there. It's a lot closer than it was before. What I've done based on the pretty basic data I got from the plugin is we've got a shelving EQ right in here at close to 3K that is cutting 5 dB. We're cutting at around what, 2350, 2360 Hertz there with a pretty sharp Q. We're boosting with a shelving filter at 37.49. So what I find interesting here is it looks like these two are kind of playing off against one another to try to approximate a change in the different resonant peaks between the Strat with its single coils, even though I'm running two coils in parallel there, and then the Les Paul style PRS over here with twin humbuckers. And then there is this big cut here using a peaking filter at 875 hertz. So we've got this wild looking EQ curve in there and I can just AB it really quickly for you. So what the guitar actually sounds like and then with the EQ. So it's pretty cool. It makes this guitar sound a whole lot slinkier and I've actually been using this in my live preset on the FM9 so that I can get this big sparkly clean sound running a parametric EQ here to kind of correct for the guitar and then running it into a compressor and then some pitch detune and some big reverb and all the glorious stuff there. I've been using uh, these settings here with the studio feedback compressor. So I'll play you all out with this example. I will post this little preset up online if you want to try it yourself. I would recommend using an EQ match plugin like that. The reason I didn't do a tone match, which I know a lot of people are going to ask about is that I didn't want to have to load up an impulse response on my FM9. I wanted to just use one of the four parametric EQ blocks. So it's just a whole lot easier and more streamlined doing it like that. So I'll put this preset up if you want to try it. Like I said, try this with some of your guitars. If that's something you want to try, or just try this block and see if it does a thing for you. There's kind of no hard and fast rules. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>